Godot offers this amazing feature called Web Export. That's going to allow you to build your game for an HTML web page. So if you want people to play your game, you just send them a link and they can play it on whatever device they're on, whatever web browser they like to use. It's the fastest way to get your Godot game in front of people. So in this video, we're going to walk through how to export for web in Godot 4.3. I'm going to show you how to host your game on Netlify and Vercel. You can use either one. For the Vercel way, we're going to cover Git version control and connecting your game to a GitHub repository. I've been working on a game over the past couple months and have been using web export a lot to get prototypes in front of people, and it's been working really well for me. So I want to show you exactly how I've been using this. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in Godot or game development in general and are working on something cool, be sure to subscribe to the channel and join our Discord server. That's linked below. If you have a project you're working on that you want to use this web export thing for, I want to see it. So join us in there. OK, let's get started. So here's the project I'll be using to demonstrate web export in Godot 4.3. The actual project doesn't really matter here because this is about your project, not this project. But, you know, I'll, I'll just show you what I got here. It's a little platformer game. I've used all sprites from my RPG sprite pack and just kind of repurposed them to work for a platformer. You can grab that in the description below. When I run the game, it's just a simple little platformer where you can jump and collect things. Nothing to it. Just demonstrating here that I run the game just like I'm developing it in debug mode. Now we want to export it for other people to play on the web. I'm going to close this. And what we want to do is find Project Export. And now the first time you open this window, you might get a prompt that says, hey, you need to download the release templates or the export templates. That's what Godot uses to compile the different targets you might be building for. So you might have a little window that you got to click download templates on. If this is your first time doing this, go ahead and download those now. You can go ahead and hit Add. Here's where you'd build for like Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, Windows, anything you want. We're going to do the web platform, HTML5. So now you'll see that we have a preset. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to leave all of these options default because honestly, we probably won't need to change anything. But it's really cool. Like you can configure things that go in the head tag of the HTML file we're going to create. All of these um, great customizations you might need uh, down the road. I want to point out too, one of my favorite features is the features tab where here you can add custom flags that will get set in the code for this build. So I could say like is production um, on web or something like that. And here in my Godot code, my GD script, I could say, hey, if you see this feature flag when the code runs, make sure you reset to the defaults just to make sure the game exports like in the initial state that you want. It's something I've been using a lot, it's pretty cool. Okay, anyway, all defaults no advanced options or anything. I'm going to go ahead and say export project. This is the root of my project directory. And I like to manage this by creating a new directory at the top level. So I'll make a new directory called exports, and then another new one called web. So with that path selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now our output files have been created. Now, in a Finder window on my Mac or File Explorer on your PC, whatever, uh, if you just go into your project directory, this is where you know the root of the project.godot is, that kind of stuff, you'll see our exports folder that we made. Here's the web. And now you see our export created all these files. You'll notice an HTML file in here, some JavaScript, some icons for like the favicon and that kind of stuff. This gets pulled from your project config. Here's a WASM file for WebAssembly, which is how this whole thing is going to be powered on the web, which is very cool. So these are all created and good. So that's all we need to do in Godot itself. Now we're going to move on to the hosting part of this. So how do we actually put this on the internet for other people to play? The first thing we want to do is just preview it locally. And this is actually optional. You don't have to do this, but I just kind of want to show you how this is all working. In a terminal, I am cd'd into my project directory. I'm going to cd into our exports folder and then web. And here you can see all of the files that were created that we just looked at. I want to start a new web server just in this directory here. It's only going to run locally on my computer so we can demonstrate what's going on. So I'll say npx serve just to run a web server with npm. This is now running on localhost 3000. So let me grab this URL. When I run that, the default web server is kind of just showing me what's everything that's in that directory. I want to navigate to the HTML file that was created. Kind of hard to see with the wrapping, but it's this one right here, web export demo .html. So find your HTML file here, click it. And now the game is running in Google Chrome. 
and it feels awesome. So I've got a browser window here. It's responsive. It honors the same kind of export settings that are in your project config. It's very cool. Now this is only running locally for me on my computer. This is a good way to test that web export is working at all. But now we're going to move these files to a real site on the internet. Now the first hosting solution I'm going to walk you through is Netlify. We're going to do Netlify and Vercel. I don't have an affiliation to either of these companies. I've used them both. They both work really well. So you can explore them and choose the one you want if you want to go this route. But there are a couple of reasons I want to show you both. So create an account here, log in. This is all free. Now, once you're logged in here, you can go to add new site, deploy manually, or you can just go to this URL, app.netlify.com slash drop. This allows you to just take a directory on your computer, drop it here, and Netlify will host the whole thing. Right, so remember, here's my finder window again, exports. I'm going to grab that web directory that has all that inner stuff in it and just drop it right here. So drag and drop. It'll generate an ID for you that you can go in and change if you want. Yours will say different things here, but now essentially you have a new site on Netlify. We can open the production deploy, and there was no index.html here, so we need to actually manually navigate to the same HTML file name. So up here in the URL bar, I will match the exact HTML file name off the root. Hit enter. And now here is my Netlify URL. Same thing, my game is hosted on Netlify. All we had to do is drop that directory into the UI, and now we can just grab this link, send it to a friend, and they can play the game. Now, if you're OK with this workflow, you could just stop right here. Anytime you want to change or upload your game, you just rerun a project export in Godot and then drop those files into Netlify here. There's a way to update those files in their UI. You can actually achieve the same thing with Git as well. If you're a Git savvy person, Git is even the default option for version control when you start a new Godot project. So next, we're going to walk through how to do these same steps, but with a Git version controlled workflow. For what it's worth, everything I'm about to show you can also be done in Netlify too if you want to use Netlify and use Git. A lot of people like Netlify, a lot of people like Vercel, and that's why I want to show you both ways. So I'm going to pop over to Vercel next. Before we connect either of those sites to Git, we need to create a Git repository for our website. So for that, I'm going to use GitHub, create a new repository with a Create button. So after your new repo is created, it'll give you all the instructions for interacting with it with the command line. So I'll go ahead and just copy this line here that adds the remote origin. Back in our terminal, I'm going to be cd'd into the top level of our project. So this is right where our project.godot is. This is usually where you want to start your Git repository. This is the root of your project. So in there, I'm going to say git init. And if you've done this before in your project, you obviously don't have to do this again, but this is just for people that haven't done it yet. So git init, I'll say git status. You'll see a lot of red text, meaning these things are changed and not tracked yet. I'm just going to add everything to the commit with git add period. And note that all the exported contents that we created, those are all being added to the commit too. Git status, you'll see everything is green. I'm going to go ahead and make my first commit. It's just first commit. So I create a lot of things. I'm going to paste in that git remote add origin line that we copied from GitHub. Hit enter on that. And now I can say git push origin main. So this is going to push all the contents of our game up to our GitHub repository. So do that. Git status again. Everything is working and clean. If we reload our GitHub tab here, you should see all the contents that we just pushed up. So this will look just like your project directory, complete with our exports and everything. Now your project's backed by Git. We can get Vercel to connect to this GitHub repository and then build from there. So over on Vercel, you'll create an account if you don't have one yet. You'll go to Add New Project. You'll need to connect your GitHub account to Vercel. If you have not done that yet, you'll see some UI for that here, but go ahead and take care of that. Then you should see your GitHub repositories listed right here. So this doesn't actually list everything I have in GitHub. It's only listing things that I've okayed Vercel to use. Since we made a new GitHub repository, it's not available in this list yet. And so I'm just going to search for it by name couldn't find it, but I know it's there. So I'll click this configure GitHub app to modify my settings. And then in here, you can go find uh, this only select repositories list. If, if you went this route, feel free to also just use all repositories when you set this up. I'll search for Godot web export, which is what I called it. Select that. 
hit save. And now I can see Godot web export here. This one is an older one I did years ago on a previous version of Godot. Funny that the names are the same. So I'll hit import here. Vercel is going to detect things about our GitHub repository. When you do this kind of thing with like a Next.js build or some common framework that Vercel will detect, you'll probably see something else here. But because this is a very like vanilla just directory of HTML files, it's going to default to other. We can leave most of this the same. The one thing we do want to change is our root directory, because by default, our root directory is going to be our project, but it's not going to be our exports web folder, which is where our guts live, like our actual HTML export. And that's what we're trying to host on the internet here. So I'll say edit, and you can even kind of navigate your structure. How cool. So export, spindle that open web. We'll continue with that. So it should look like export slash web, whatever you named the directory that you exported the guts into. And now we'll say deploy. Hey, and then we get the success screen. Again, the homepage preview is going to be a little messed up because we don't have an index.html file in here. You could add one if you want to add a little homepage, or you could configure the export to be called index.html in those Godot settings. That way your game would just be the homepage. But I just left it all defaults here. Again, we need to make sure that we use our real HTML file. So for me, it's Godot web export demo.html and the web page loads our game will load and here it is so now this is the game hosted on Vercel so if you're newer to Git and GitHub and deployments and that kind of thing that might seem like it was a lot of work compared to the Netlify route where we just dragged the game into the browser but let me show you what's cool about this I'm back in my project here and I just want to make some changes real quick like uh, I'll go into this map Here's the actual scene that has like the level layout and stuff. You know, I'll just move some things around. Like I'll take the money and make it a lot higher. Maybe that's what I want. I'll make a couple more of them because, you know, more money, more money, more problems. I'll move the hero around so maybe he's in the middle. Just some change. I'm just trying to show you like, hey, I've updated the game in some way. Now that I've changed it, I want to go ahead and run my export. And this too can be automated. Maybe we'll cover that in a future video. If, if you do want to see that, just let me know in the comments. Don't need to change anything here because we did it all the same before. I'll just do export project again. It remembers, hey, last time we did this in export slash web, so I can just leave this all the same, just keep hitting save. Yes, overwrite. In my terminal, if I run git status to see the changes, you'll see, hey, we've got a couple new files here. This one even doesn't matter. That's just some Mac noise. I should have get ignored that. But these are the ones we care about. I'm going to go ahead and add and say a new commit with dash M, you know, updates level design or just something like that. And now we'll say git push origin main. Because our Vercel site is tied to our GitHub repository, anytime we push to main, the main branch, our website is going to redeploy. And so now already I didn't have to like drag new files into Vercel or anything. We can just go to the web page. So I'll just reload. Godot will re-download the latest version here, and now you can see my level design changes are already live on the website. So those changes are here where I've got money bags in both directions, and the hero started at a different spot. It's already here, ready to go. So anybody playing the game is going to have those changes. As you keep working on your game and want to release new changes to it, I think you'll find the Git way to be a lot smoother and easier. Now here I demonstrated Vercel for the Git deployment route, but you can also do that on Netlify. So whatever game you're working on and exporting for people to the web, I want to invite you to join our Discord server. It's called Game Dev Shift. It's linked in the description below. Game Dev Shift is a supportive community of developers building video games. So whatever you're working on, please pop in there. Tell us about your project. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. That really helps me grow the channel. I'll catch you in the next video.